Located in Astoria, New York, the Steinway family mansion and the Riker Lind homestead are within one mile of each other. However, over 100 years separate their lives, their influence on the community, and their legacy to their fellow citizens. Abraham Riker, also using the name Lent, built a one-room stone country dwelling facing Bowery Bay in northern Queens in 1656. Each new generation expanded and added to the original structure while still preserving the old Dutch style. In the family cemetery behind the house, along with over a hundred family members, lay the remains of Abraham Riker's grandsons, who fought and died in the Revolutionary War. John Berrien Riker served with distinction as a surgeon under General George Washington during the entire period of the Revolution. After the revolution, the homestead served as a terminal station for convoys of food and supplies. Almost 100 years later, in 1850, Henry Engelhardt Steinway brought his wife, five sons, and three daughters to the New World from Germany. In 1853, he opened the first Steinway piano factory in Lower Manhattan. In the years following the Civil War, economic prosperity offered new opportunities for growth and investment. The Steinways needed space for a lumber yard, a sawmill, a foundry, shipping facilities, as well as space for increased production capacity. In addition, labor unrest at the factory had to be resolved if the company was to continue to operate and maintain its world-renowned reputation. Steinway pianos had won several gold medals at the Paris International Exhibit in 1867. In 1870, William Steinway began purchasing tracts of land in northern Queens. It was mostly shoreline unchanged from the Revolutionary War days, partly woodland, salt meadows, and open fields belonging to Peter Leister and Benjamin Pike. The Pike estate included a Victorian-style mansion built on a hill overlooking Bowery Bay. The mansion became the summer home of the Steinways and proved remarkably convenient for it was just minutes away from the piano factory. It was an elegant, aristocratic home built with main bluestone, finished with handcrafted wood carvings, marble fireplaces, and decorated with fine porcelains and art pieces. The wine cellar, pool, sauna, billiard tables, and projection room provided recreation and amusement for the entire family. Before the Steinways could build a factory and import workers to the new site, there had to be transportation, dwellings, streets, all of the amenities of life. 
During 1873 and 1874, they erected workmen's housing, staked out lots, opened streets, built a waterworks, and installed a sewer system. The Steinways also operated trolley lines along Steinway Street to the ferry terminal, making it easier for their workers to commute to the factory. This transportation system facilitated the economic development of the entire area. The Steinways built schools, churches, an amusement park at North Beach, created the Steinway Circulating Library, donated land to the city for the construction of PS84 and other institutions. In 1877, the Steinways created a company town for their employees. Nearly all of the homes are still standing and occupied today. William Steinway, recognizing the impact the invention of the internal combustion engine would have on transportation and the automobile industry, encouraged Gottlieb Daimler to come to Astoria to build his Mercedes automobiles. However, Henry Ford's mass-produced cars dominated the market and Daimler had to close his shop and return to Germany. Few immigrant families have had as profound an influence on their communities as did the Steinway family. Their contributions laid the foundation for the growth and development of the Steinway Astoria region that intensified at the turn of the century. The opening of the Queensboro Bridge in 1909 ended the isolation of Queens County and its dependence on ferries. The laying of tracks on the bridge brought rapid transit to Queensboro Plaza and Astoria in 1917. It is not by accident that Astoria's Community School District 30 is one of the most culturally diverse school districts in the nation. Over 60 countries are represented and more than 100 languages and dialects are spoken. Its location, the quality of its schools and services make it an ideal community in which to live and work. It remains a magnet for immigrants seeking to realize their dreams and prosper as did those who came before them. This is part of the Steinway legacy.